Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on overview training on SAP Datasphere. In the last episode, we learned about connecting our SAP Datasphere account with HANA Cloud. In today's session, I will show you how to utilize the added HANA Cloud connection in Datasphere to replace your existing table with a remote data source. So we have created a view by far and that view was currently pointing to a data source which was local. But instead of that, now I would like to take data from my HANA Cloud system. So we will be utilizing a remote data source, which is a remote table, which we are going to connect and put it in our view. In the last episode, we talked about how the remote data sources work in general. You can then also take a snapshot of the remote data sources to improve performance. And we've also discussed about data federation. So in today's session, we will learn about replacing our existing data source with a remote data source of HANA Cloud. Before we get started, please smash the like button. Kindly share this video in the WhatsApp group of your teams so other colleagues can also take advantage of this free overview training on SAP Datasphere. So let's get started. Okay, having said that, let's get started now. And our next use case is basically to learn how to first replace our existing tables from the view. Can we replace them with the with the uh, with the remote sources or not? So answer is yes. Let me switch over back and go to the view which we have already created earlier. So you can also come here and check the type of the object, and you can filter only the view object, for example. Yes. So it only shows you the views. It will be easy for you to find the corresponding and respective objects in an easy manner. So in our session by far, we have created this uh, sales order view in the previous episode. I switch over to that. And I also remember one question asked by you in the last class. I remember what's the use of this already added connection by SAP. So you, if you look at that, SAP have, so this is a Anubo HANA Cloud connection I have created, but there is also a HANA Cloud connection provided by SAP for learning and training purpose, right? So if you expand that, it contains a schema called DWC Demo Schema. This is schema it contains. It's a free schema provided by SAP for learning and training purpose. So if you expand that, you will also find a sales order table in this schema. So what I will do is I'll just come down and I will pick up that sales order table and replace that table over here. You see, instead of this table, I'll put sales order table. So I'll drag and drop over here, the sales order table, you see, import and deploy. Yes. So actually, I did a mistake. Let me just uh, come out and open that object again. So I should do replacement, not join. So we come back to the sources connection. HANA Cloud and DWC Demo and we have the sales order. So we have the sales order table. I drag and you see the moment you're dropping it's showing multiple options to choose union, join or replace. So the default is join. That's why last time when I drag drop simply it used the join. Now I do a replace and you see here it is telling me to replace this table. Would you like to import this table? So what I usually do is I just put an R before this. R will tell me that it's a remote source table. That original source of this table was a remote source. Yes. It also may stand for replicated table. Yeah. So usually I do that. So I import now and you see it is telling you mapping. Mapping means earlier the table was created by an Excel sheet. In Excel, these are the column names. Now the new table which we are bringing from remote source. So these were the column names in capital letter. And these are the these are the columns which are coming from remote source now you see. Yeah, remote source. So all of these remote source uh, columns will now be mapped to the Excel sheet imported table which we did earlier. So if this mapping is not proper, so currently it is based on data type, it is automatically mapped based on names and everything. But in case if it uh, has issues, you can yourself map it. Click on replace. 
So this is the advantage of connection which is provided by SAP already in the data sphere. So even though you will not do the exercise which I taught you today creating your own HANA cloud instance and connecting it, you can directly go ahead and use this HANA underscore cloud uh, connection which is provided by SAP in data sphere for free for learning and training purpose. It also has the S flight schema which we use today. Yeah? So that you can do. Now moving on, you can go and check the warning here so it says that some column uh, have the length bigger this is just a warning we can ignore that and we can deploy <clears throat> so what happened now deploy anyway what happened now it is replaced your table on sales order data from a remote table now earlier the data was coming from data sphere but now the data will come from a remote source from this dwc demo that is what the system is done so this is one way point one using a replicated source and replacing your existing source with the replicated source now it will not remove the existing sales order table which you already had earlier yeah that table is still you can find in the repository but it just replaced the source now look at the advantage why we do things in layered approach why we develop things in layered approach look at the great advantage here so what happened is what did we do earlier and what is the advantage now exactly what we are getting so you saw that earlier we created a sales order table on top of the sales order table we created a view on top of this view we created uh, you know in this view we added some joins and all yes everything we have added on top of it we created an analytic model on top of it we created the dashboard or the story in SAC. now our requirement was to replace the sales order table from a remote sales order table we were simply able to do that without touching this this or this layer can you imagine there is no maintenance yes there is zero maintenance zero percent effort to any of these things why because we use layers this is why we use layers Somebody asked me in early days of our training, Anubhav, why we need to do so many things? Why can't I have a table and directly use it here? If you would have done this direct connection, believe me, the moment you replace it, everything gets disrupted. Everything you need to redo. But since now we have layers upon layers upon layers, in the bottom layer, if you change something, it will never affect the top layer. It is a proper abstraction. It's a proper zero maintenance, guys zero maintenance this is the, the power of design or layered approach of development now coming back this was one example and now we got our view deployed you can data preview the data here you click this button and you should see the data from sales order remote source so this data will be fetched live from that hana cloud connection provided by sap for learning and training purpose so now you should see the data from remote source all right so thank you so much for all of you for attending today's session on the topic of sap data sphere as usual please feel free to subscribe the complete training end to end on sap data sphere sap analytics cloud sap btp ui5 fury or any other technical skill set which you would want to upgrade in this new world of cloud so do not forget to visit www.anubavtrainings.com also shoot us an email on contact at anubavtrainings.com for any of the requirement regarding the technical training in the space of sap with that anubav signing out once again thank you so much and i will see you in my next episode